Hi, um, so here is a little preview into my intraday trading guide uh, using TDTR indicator uh, or trend reversal indicator. For those who don't know, um, trend reversal indicator is derived from TD sequential indicator or also commonly known as the mark indicator or 913 count indicator by Tom DeMark. It's very uh, well known and heavily used by the institutional traders and only by them because until now because they're it's been a very exclusive indicator and very accurate. In Bloomberg, I believe it costs uh, over 300 or 4, between 3 and 500 dollars a month to subscribe just to use this indicator. Um, but I I made some modifications and uh, uh, discovered uh, a way to improve this indicator by displaying it in a color coded bar format rather than having. Um, numbers written under the price bar. That's how tra traditionally uh, TD sequential indicators are displayed in uh, Bloomberg Terminal. So um, how I show uh, the indicator is as follows. The reversal um, counts are shown on the first row and the exhaustion counts are shown on the second row. Um, I will not go into what exhaustion uh, counts mean uh, in this tutorial because that's uh, I will primarily focus on reversal count I find them to be more accurate in predicting short-term trend reversal which is it's what is its name uh, derived from um, green bars are called a reversal buy count and red bar reversal sell count and when the count reaches nine uh, notice it's always consecutive uh, it becomes uh, buy complete or buy or sell complete um, which it then turns into an arrow and further there if there is a, a red around a dot over it is perfection perfection signal just means it's more reliable than non-perfect signals um, so in this case uh, when the blue arrow uh, starts showing up you can expect this downtrend to almost starting to fade and it's about the trend is about to reverse hence it's the, the name uh, reversal uh, trend reversal indicator uh, whereas in the second row is the exhaustion which has different number of counts and a characteristic I will not go into in this tutorial um, but it's all documented in various sources also um, in a book called the mark indicators by Jason Pro you will receive if you subscribe to 6 or 12 months uh, subscription um, I typically use this uh, uh, second or third uh, arrow as, as a buy signal instead of just pulling the trigger on the first because uh, especially when the market is very volatile or um, early in the morning usually stocks is very volatile. Also another rule uh, I have is I never uh, start trading until 10.30. Um, 10.30 or after 2.30 which case the market is about to close, stock usually stops, uh, doesn't have a lot of range to make profit. So I restrict my trading hours between 10.30 and 2.30. I find that works out very well for me. So as you can see, in this case, uh, the, the first uh, blue arrow showed up just before 10 o'clock. Um, but because of the morning volatility, you would have been dragged down uh, some more. If, whereas if you waited after 10.30, you would have gotten close to the low point. And for the sell signal, I usually wait till either the color change or the, uh, the down red arrow. It's not wrong to sell when the, down, the first or second down red arrow or the sell complete uh, signal uh, appears. Um, I also experimented with a lot of different time frames. Even though I'm a heavy user of uh, chart patterns and uh, trend lines, I find uh, trend lines work much better in the daily or, or weekly long-term charts. And for the intraday trades, I like to use uh, TR or TD indicator. I also experimented with the different time frames. Um, the reason I chose five minute bar chart is because it's a really good uh, balance between not over trading and um, and make each trade have a good sizable profit. Some people like to use one minute chart, uh, then you end up trading 12, 
you know a dozen or more trades per day and you just get overwhelmed um, and it's very stressful uh, for me and if you go to like daily chart then it, it stopped being short-term uh, indicator for daily charts I actually like to use trend lines and chart patterns and only use TR indicator as, as a complement to it um, so this is just for pure uh, intraday trade with five minutes uh, uh, time frame uh, you should usually get about two to three trades per day and each trade should have a good sizable one percent or even two percent sometimes you get really lucky five percent profit and TR indicator is really good in preventing uh, losses and I'll show you how to uh, calculate stop losses and more advanced strategies when you sign up uh, for the TR package or long-term membership and then you have access to my other tutorials but for today's uh, introduction I'll just show you a few just a few examples of my recent um, screens. I also screen 8,000 US stocks to find which ones are the best suited for intraday, five minutes intraday uh, trades by using TR indicator. Um, and I publish those results every two weeks. Uh, and you can use the top 100, you can pick from the top 100 stocks that, that perform the best and to make it even even more reliable um, trading decisions so here is uh, one example of pb on um, stock that had that was one of the top 10 pick um, in april 2015 and as you can see here um, again uh, it's after the, my trading time is restricted between 10.30 and 2.30 so you would have bought exactly at 10.30 here and see the stock price rise subsequently and if you scroll back let's see here's another signal and another oh and that sell signal Sell signal. It's all very simple. It's pretty much a no-brainer. And here is a buy signal. This one's not so good because it's already close to 2:30, and market starting to uh, die down, quiet down, and people start losing interest in trade. So usually after, if you made a good sizable gain um, in the morning, I would just take off in the afternoon because. Um, you don't you don't want to stress yourself over a difficult trade. The trade usually the best trades usually happen between 10:30 and 12. In this case, you at 11 you have a sell signal, and at 12 you had a sell signal, and you would recover here. So that's that's a pretty good trade here between these two points. o'clock buy this is flat but at least you have no losses here here another example Xilinx also showed up on my TR uh, screener list you see how all the blue arrows pin, pinpoint very close to the bottom of the trend reversal. This one, even after 3 o'clock. Remember the 1030 rule? So you would have skipped this signal because it's too early in the morning. It's very volatile. So you would have this would be your first buy right here. Here is only one arrow, but it does pinpoint the low. 
it's too late close to market closing so you just skip this this one is just after 2.30 so this I would have skipped um, because this very long downtrend line during the, in the day and I would not feel comfortable trading but if you did you would have still down well here and here this so this is it for a brief preview uh, of my intraday trading guide using TR signal and if you want to learn more you can subscribe to the TRTD indicator pack or master trader pack uh, on my app subscription page, you can see it's at screenulator.com apps.html. And when you subscribe to 6 or 12 months uh, subscription, you also receive a free ebook by Tom DeMarc, uh, DeMarc Indicators by Jason Pro. Also have uh, a full access to my detailed st uh, strategy guides and uh, bi-monthly stock picks. Thank you.